Starfield just had some massive mods released, from the known legends of the modding stage as well as some small but extremely useful mods to save your time, improve combat and general immersion in the game. Let's take a look on those in the episode 3 of Starfield Best Mods Weekly. And remember that there are many other mods and Starfield modding tips in my modding guide link down below in the video description. Star UI HUD is a mod from the author of Amazing Star UI Inventory, but now for large amount of interface other than inventory. The mod gives you a full control over most HUD widgets and provides an updated loot list and item cards, as well as many other features. For example, improved container loot menu where you can see more items, their description stats improved and the item type icons added so you can quickly see what is what. You can also hold the action button to loot all the items instantly. When hovering on items, there is now a proper icon tag label that hints you which kind of item it is, but what's that bar under the item name? Simple and effective, this bar displays items weight to value ratio, feeling the more, the better this ratio is, so you can decide which item to loot and which to leave in a matter of milliseconds intuitively. But what about compatibility? Easy peasy. Mod covers many features that uh, other smaller mods did before and as for the icon sorting tags mod, that's why you see two icons at each item. Compatibility can be arranged by changing just three values in the mod configuration file. ta -da! It's already just one icon per item. At the same time, both look good and I personally kept two in my game. Mod also provides other quality of life features such as showing door icon on the doors that trigger loading screens or implementing accidental stealing protection. Now, if taking the item counts as stealing, you will see item name and the loot pop-up colored in red, and to prevent stealing when accidentally pressing action button, you need to hold it to grab the item. You can also completely change all your hard colors. Neon Atlantis Billboards changes existing billboards in New Atlantis and Neon City to be more juicy, high-quality ones, greatly fitting the game setting and giving the light cyberpunk vibes. Realistic Ejection Pattern is a Devil in Details mod that improves your firearm's cage shells ejection from mostly boring, somewhat linear ejection in vanilla to more epic-looking, momentum-carrying ones when the mod is installed. Starfield HD Revoked Project by Hal Hogan, a graphics mod author widely known for his huge and qualitative texture and mesh improvement packs for Witcher 3 and Skyrim, now for Starfield as well. HDRP goal is to noticeably improve most of the game textures, sometimes providing stark difference in quality, with no or nearly zero performance impact. Landscape, architecture, metal and concrete, paintings and rocks, effects and NPCs improved textures, all in a single pack, growing in coverage with every update and sticking to the original game textures look by simply making them way more detailed. The Mandalorian, Boba Fett and Jungle Fett changes by your choices either the Starborn or the Mantis armor to the Mandalorian inspired looks, and I guess we can agree that it looks just great in Starfield. Now, this mod was practically released earlier, not during this week, but as I am taking a responsible approach in showcasing only mods I have actually tested myself, this one required some time. Combat and Stealth AI Overhauls is a comprehensive mod that noticeably improves enemy AI regarding both open field combat and stealth. Enemies will now be smarter and more dangerous in combat. They have longer attention range, try to overwhelm you when you are not careful, 
taking cover smarter when in danger, shooting from it and throwing grenades more often, and having generally better accuracy instead of shooting most of the bullets into the open space. NPCs will alert their allies about dead bodies and try to find you and generally try to fight for their life against the silent killer of yours, if you are stealthy. All in all, the mod does not make neither cells or open combat hardcore, but rather upgrades the plainly brain-dead combat AI that is a feature of every Bethesda game. The Plague's Optics Reimagined mod remakes or edits nearly every reflex and holographic reticle in Starfield to make them better to the eyes and just simpler to aim. Now you can see what you're shooting at, soldier. Immersive explosive sounds overhauls explosion sounds for grenades and mines to make them more volumetric and a bit more sci-fi. Listen yourself. Something is not right here, but what? Oh yeah, I'm switching weapons like crazy in the middle of a fight and it doesn't stutter. There was a dreaded bug in the game that happened to many Starfield players that caused short stutters when swapping the weapons, especially in combat. But now it is smooth as butter thanks to the weapon swap stuttering mod fix. Compact UI is a series of mods that do the simple but so much needed thing to fix the Starfield UI on PC being badly ported from consoles. Making more lines to be seen on a screen in your quest, shipbuilder, crew and the crafting interface tabs. It's never enough of mods that save your precious time. CCR Waiting Reinvented speeds up the time you are spending on the waiting screen from 2 up to 12 times faster. With the version I'm using in this video, making waiting and resting 4 times faster. The last mod for today that changes nothing for graphics or gameplay, but is actually essential, is the address library for the SFSE plugins. As you may have already noticed, game updates break all the script extender based mods. Address library mod makes it easier for the mod authors to update their mods independently of the game version. And for this to work on your end, it should be installed in your game as well. Just place the DLL plugin to the Starfield script extender plugins folder and forget about it. That's all for now folks, thanks for tuning in. If you want to learn more about Starfield modding and discover hundreds of other neat mods, take a look at my Starfield modding guide, linked down below. To support my work, you can help at my Patreon or buy me a coffee pages, which are linked below as well. Don't forget to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. Stay tuned, stay safe and stay happy. Simitar here, signing out.